Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. I don't just sit there, my wee crumpets. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Wow, oranges. We are going to make freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh, can you smell that? I like eating oranges. They're lovely and juicy, aren't they? Yeah. Now we'll do this, we'll squeeze that in. Granny Murray will show you how. Oh, oh it's tricky. Okay. Need some for Granny Murray. <laughs> well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh. Lisa. <laughs> wow, looks like you've got a bit of a mess on your hands there, Granny Murray. Oh, you can say that again. Here you are, Lisa. Some freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh, there's nothing like freshly squeezed orange juice. <laughs> now you're here, my dad, and we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as an orange tree? <laughs> and we can waft over to the chairs like orange blossom on the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope you don't mind me saying so, Granny Murray. Ooh. But your way of squeezing oranges is a little bit old-fashioned. You don't say. Well, yeah, see, in my boofy car on the train, I have an electric juicer. Oh. It's very efficient and there's no mess at all. Oh, well, sometimes the old ways are better than the new and fangled, dangled ways. You are as bad as Tina. She always prefers the old way of doing things. I'm surprised she doesn't go around collecting taxi fares in a horse and cart. Now that <laughs> would be fun. <laughs> I suppose. But sometimes the newfangled ways can be fun and clever. Look, take my amazing coffee machine on the train. It can make any kind of coffee and every kind of tea. Really? Oh, yes. You should see the way it shines and gleams and hear the way it hisses and clunks. Oh, Raymond. <laughs> Look at Claude. Oh, you look very fruity, Claude. Oh, yes, you should sure do. Well done, my darlings. Here you are, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Oh, the very first of Claude's crop. Thank you, darling. <laughs> right, I'd better get off to work. Come on, then. Now, remember, sometimes the old ways are better than the new and fangled, dangled ways. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I take a ticket, ticket on the metro. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the points. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. OK, so we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Bang on time. <laughs> oh, hiya, Raymond. Bobby, how great to see you. So where are you going on the train today? Oh, I'm off to see my mum in Molly Moa. Got a present for her. Ooh, what is it? Well, I picked up a bargain in the Nicholson's department store. It's usually a dead posh place, but we're having a sale. Oh, don't tell Tina. She loves sales. <laughs> They're selling these electric kettles. Two for the price of one. Mm. My mum needs a new kettle, so I've got one for her. But I've got a spare one, and I don't really know what to do with it. Hey, perhaps Tina could use it in her garage for her tea breaks. You know, it's funny you should mention that because Tina's kettle is on its last legs. Well then, 
Oh, well, yes, but see, I was trying to convince her to buy a tea-making machine. See, that way, when she finishes her shift and returns to the garage, her tea will be all ready and waiting for her. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, well, I thought so, but Tina hates newfangled things. Well, why not give her this new, but trusty, old-style kettle? Um, go on then. How much do you want for it? A fiver should cover it. Mm-hmm. And uh, a cup of tea? Oh, done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, you're not going to try out your new kettle? You know, give it a spin, make sure it's all working. What? Not when I got my new chrome coffee and tea maker, the pride and joy of my biffy car. <laughs> I don't think so. Now, what kind of tea would you like? I've got English breakfast, Earl Grey, Assam. I've also got some herbal infusions. Um, just a regular tea bag tea will do me. Oh, right. <laughs> well, go and take a seat, please, and I'll get my machine warmed up. Ha-ha! I wonder how you're doing, Lisa. I'd love to skip in River Sea Bing, River Sea Bing, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bing, go River Sea Bing, go that's for me. Oh my goodness, this floor was needing a good brush, wasn't it, Lisa? Now you hold Granny Murray's old-fashioned dustpan and I'll sweep in the rubbish. What would your dad have to say about this? Are you having fun, Daddy? Hi, coffee please. Oh, certainly. What kind of coffee would you like? You can have a regular filter coffee, or I can make you an espresso, americano, cappuccino, latte, mocha, mocha latte, or mochaccino, or any of the above decaf. Just a black coffee, please. Oh, right. <laughs> good choice. The coffee here is very good. You know, my old dad, he gets these fancy coffees a bit mixed up. He calls a cappuccino a cup of chino. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? I'll have a, a cup of chino, please, son. <laughs> um, hi, Raymond. Did you forget about my tea? Oh, no, not at all, Bobby. I'm just waiting for the machine to build up the pressure. It should be up to speed by the time we reach Molly Moore. But I'm getting off at Molly Moore. Oh, no. Oh, well, how about a juice instead? Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll get my mum to brew me up a cup when I get there. Oh, yes, <laughs> in her old-fashioned kettle. <laughs> yes, that's right. Right. Well, i better get on with some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Take this time, I'm looking fine. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help and clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the sweet. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. Ah, oh, <laughs> sorry everyone. I've been up and down the train with my trolley. I'll reopen the boofy cart in two ticks. Just give me a second. Right. What can I get everyone? Can I have an orange juice and a tea, please? An orange juice and a tea. Would you like milk with that? Yes, please. Right, I'll be coming right up. <laughs> And what would you like, sir? A black coffee. A black coffee. I'll get that right for you. Thank you. Oh, could I have an Americano, please? An Americano? Ooh. And would you like a wee biscuit with that? Sure. Comes free with the coffee. Yes, madam. Hey, do you do a cappuccino? Do we do cappuccino? Yes. I'll bring it over to you. Right. You know, there's nothing this baby can't do. And Anna Jeffy. Oh, she's my pride and joy. I wonder how my other pride and joy is doing. I 
Do you like my old fangled gramophone, Lisa? Yeah. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? Oh, they certainly don't. So, would you like to hear it play? Yes, please. Right then. We'll start cranking the handle there. Ooh. That's the way. Crank it up. And then I drop this needle down, and we should hear some music coming out of this trumpet here. <gasps> oh, it's quaint, isn't it, darling? What did your dad say? <laughs> he would laugh at us using an old fashioned record player, wouldn't he? What are you doing on the train, Daddy? Oh, what is wrong with this thing? Oh dear. Uh, uh, Ramondo, um, what's with the hold up? I can't get to the counter because of the crowd and I am gasping for a cup of tea. Oh, you'll have to wait your turn, Rudy. That crowd is actually a queue. Oh dear. My marvel of modern tea making technology doesn't seem to be behaving itself. And now I have a whole crowd of disgruntled passengers waiting for their refreshments. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Lisa. Granny Murray and the children had been squeezing oranges to make fresh orange juice. I told Granny Murray all about my favourite gadget, my state-of-the-art tea and coffee machine. I arrived at work and the train set off on time at nine o'clock. Bobby was my first customer of the day. She was on her way to Molly Moore with a present for her mum. She'd bought two brand new, old-fashioned kettles in a sale. I bought one of the kettles from her as a present for Tina. Bobby wanted me to make her a cup of tea. She thought I could test out her new kettle, but I told her I'd make it in my tea and coffee machine. It took quite a while for the machine to heat up properly, and in the end, Bobby had to get off the train at Molly Moore without her cup of tea. At two o'clock, I had a big queue of customers, all wanting tea and coffee. But I was still waiting for my newfangled tea and coffee machine to warm up properly. Now remember, sometimes the old ways are better than the new and fangled dangled ways. Sometimes the old ways are better than new and fangled dangled ways. Well, I've got all these people waiting for teas and coffees. And I haven't got time to fix my fantastic new tea and coffee machine. So, the old way it is. And it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to start it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song There's your tea, Rudy, mate I'm sorry about the wait Oh, that's OK, Raymo I've been dying to show you this Oh, what is it? It's my newfangled laughing can Oh, cool! But what's a laughing can? Oh, it's dead good, Raymond It's got batteries in it, right? And you tip it like this Oh no, you're meant to tell it a joke first by shouting into the top, and then you tip it. Uh, well, it's meant to laugh at your joke, or at least that's what happens when the bloke in the shop showed it to me. Oh well, why don't you just tell me your joke? Oh right, okay, <clears throat> you ready? <clears throat> what is a twack? Oh, I don't know, Rudy. What is a twack? <laughs> it's what a twain runs on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Rudy, I think real laughter is better than canned laughter. <laughs> oh, I must remember to tell Lisa that joke later on. <laughs> Can we play this now? Oh, what is it, Lisa? Oh, it's our favourite CD. <laughs> it's quite good, actually. Oh, well, we can't play that on my gramophone. You'll have to play it on Granny Murray's newfangled machine. Oh, that won't be a problem. This is just what we need for the job, eh, Lisa? <laughs> we don't need to wind this up. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, you're right, Granny Murray. This is good. Let's have a dance. Oh, come on, then. Well, we still can. Your dad will be here to pick you up soon, Lisa. Hi, Granny. 
Ready, Murray? Hello. Come on, Lisa, it's your dad. Hiya, Daddy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Oh, yes. we certainly did, didn't we, darling? Thank you. Oh, oh. my wee angel! <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes the old ways are better than new and fangled dangled ways. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on now, let's get you two home. <laughs> Go! Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an orange tree because the children had been juicing oranges with my orange squeezer. It was a lovely, messy, sticky job and we filled lots of cups with zingy fresh orange juice. As soon as Raymond left to go to work, I got out my old dustpan and brush and Lisa and I swept up the floor. Later on, Mickey John came round with his old-fashioned record player Lisa had fun turning the handle and watching the record spin round and round and we had a bit of a bop. Meanwhile, over in the boofy car on the train, Raymond was having trouble with his new tea and coffee machine. He remembered as I told him, sometimes the old ways are better than new and fangled dangled ways. Mm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to skip in Riversy Tingle, Riversy Tingle Pie. I love to skip in Riversy Tingle, Riversy Tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, where the fairy fox stands the blue. Time to call on Granny 